EXO, Korean, semicolon stylized in all caps, is a South Korean Chinese boy band based in Seoul, with nine members, Zayuman, Seho, Lei, Kyun, Chen, Chen Yao, Dio, Kai and Sun. The band was formed by SM Entertainment in 2011 and debuted in 2012. Their music incorporates genres like pop, hip-hop, and R&B, alongside electronic dance music genres like house, trap, and synth pop. EXO releases and performs music in Korean, Mandarin, and Japanese. The band ranked as one of the top five most influential celebrities on the Forbes Korea Power Celebrity list each year from 2014 to 2018, and have been named the biggest boy band in the world and the kings of gay pop by media outlets. Since 2014, EXO has exclusively performed as one group, while continuing to release and perform music in multiple languages. Previously, the band debuted with 12 members separated into two subgroups, XOK, Seho, Kyun, Chen Yao, Dio, K, and Sun, and XOM, Zayuman, Lei, Chen, and former members Kreis, Liu Han, and Tao. XOK and XOM performed music in Korean and Mandarin, respectively, until the release of their third EP Overdose in 2014. After the departures of Kreis, Liu Han, and Tao in legal battles in 2014 and 2015, the band continued with the remaining nine members. Since 2016, Chen, Kyun, and Zayuman have also released music and performed as a subunit named ExoCBX. All of EXO's members also maintained solo careers in fields including music, film, and television. EXO's first album Zoxo, 2013, which contains the breakthrough hit Growl, was a critical and commercial success. It sold over 1 million copies, making EXO the best-selling Korean artist in 12 years. Subsequent albums and DPs have also had strong sales, with all Korean studio albums each selling more than 1 million copies. EXO has won many awards for their albums, including five consecutive Album of the Year wins at the Natasian Music Awards and two consecutive Artist of the Year wins at the Melon Music Awards. EXO's sixth album Don't Mess Up My Tempo, 2018, is their highest charting album on the U.S. Billboard 200, debuting at number 23. It is also their best-selling album with over 1.9 million copies sold in South Korea. Since EXO's first headlining tour in 2014, the band has performed over 100 concerts across four tours and has participated in multiple joint tours. EXO is also known for its work beyond music, which includes endorsement deals with brands such as Nature Republic and Samsung, and philanthropic efforts such as Smile For You, a joint SM Entertainment and UNICEF project that began in 2015, and in which EXO continues to participate. Background In 2011, SM Entertainment CEO, Lee Su Man, revealed plans to debut a new boy band that would be divided into two subgroups promoting the same music simultaneously in South Korea and China by performing songs in both Korean and Mandarin. After several member changes in December 2011, the group finalized its name as EXO, taken from the word exoplanet. The news of an upcoming debut from SM Entertainment attracted substantial media attention from within South Korea and internationally, with many comparing EXO to fellow SM boy band TVXQ. It was also reported that EXO would compete with a new girl group from rival YG Entertainment. History 2006-2012, Formation EXO-K's leader, Seho, was the first member to join SM Entertainment, after a successful audition through the company's casting system in 2006. The following year, K, with encouragement from his father, auditioned at the SM Youth Best Contest, he won and received a contract. Chen Yao, who took second place in a smart model contest, and Sun, who went through four auditions in two years, were the next members to become trainees in 2008. In 2010, XOK's D.O. sang for his audition and was eventually offered a contract. The last member of XOK to become a trainee was Kyun, who joined in 2011 through SM Entertainment's casting system and trained for approximately one year before debut. In XOM, 
Crease auditioned in 2008 at a Global SM Entertainment audition in Canada, before moving to South Korea for training. That same year, Lei auditioned in Changsha, China, and subsequently moved to South Korea, while Zayumin attended an audition with his friend and won second place. In 2010, Lei Yuhan was scouted by an SM Entertainment representative in Seoul and passed his audition, while Tao was scouted at a talent show. The last member to join XOM was Chen, who took part in the casting system in 2011. The band's first televised performance was at the annual SBS GOG On event on December 29, 2011. XOK and XOM debuted with the single Mama on April 8, 2012, followed by the EP Mama on April 9. The two subgroups promoted the album separately. XOK performed on South Korean music program The Music Trend while XOM performed on the top Chinese music awards in Shenzhen on the same day. The Korean version of the EP peaked at number 1 on South Korea's JN album chart and at number 8 on the Billboard World Albums chart, while the Mandarin version reached number 2 on China's Sina album chart and number 1 on various Chinese streaming platforms. Prior its debut, EXO released two singles titled What is Love and History, which peaked at number 88 on and number 68 respectively on the JN Digital chart and at number 6 on the Sina Music chart. EXO was awarded Best New Asian Group at the 2012 Net Asian Music Awards and the Newcomer Award at the Golden Disc Awards. 2013-2014, Commercial Success The group's first studio album, Zexo, was released on June 3, 2013 in two versions, one in Korean and one in Mandarin. Unlike the EP Mama, for which XOK and XOM had separate promotions, Zexo was jointly promoted, mainly in South Korea. EXO recorded the album's lead single Wolf together, but the rest of the album tracks were recorded separately. A repackaged version of the album, titled Growl, was released on August 5, 2013, with three additional tracks. New single Growl peaked at number 3 on the Billboard Gay Pop Hot 100 and at number 2 on the JN Digital Chart. All versions of Zoxo collectively sold over 1 million copies, making EXO the first South Korean artist to reach that milestone in 12 years. That December, EXO released a second DP, Miracles in December, as a special winter album containing the single of the same name. Prior to the release, the group promoted the album through their first reality show. EXO's Showtime, which premiered on November 28, 2013 on the cable channel NBC Every One. Following their 2013 releases, EXO won Song of the Year at the Melon Music Awards for Growl, Discs at the Golden Disc Awards and Album of the Year at the Natasian Music Awards for Zoxo, and the Dnath the Soul Music Awards. In addition, XOM received the Most Popular Group Award at the 2013 Top Chinese Music Awards. EXO's third EP, Overdose, was released on May 7, 2014. Originally scheduled to be released on April 21, the album was delayed due to the Xiwal Ferry accident on April 16. Overdose was promoted similarly to MAMA, with XOK in South Korea and XOM promoting primarily in China. The album had over 660,000 pre-orders, making it the most pre-ordered Korean EP in history. The Korean edition also peaked at number 2 on Billboard's World Albums chart, and at number 129 on the Billboard 200, making EXO the highest ever charting male Korean group at that time. Overdose became the best-selling release of 2014 in South Korea and was the first EP to top the yearly charts and win the Album of the Year award at the Natasian Music Awards. On December 22, EXO released their first live album, Exology Chapter 1, The Lost Planet The Album's single, December, 2014, The Winter's Tale, peaked at number 1 on the JN Digital chart, making it EXO's first number 1 single. By the end of 2014, EXO was Japan's best-selling K-pop artist of the year. On May 15, 2014, Kreese filed a lawsuit against SM Entertainment to terminate his contract and alleged that SM, disregarded his health, maintained unfair profit distributions, restricted his freedom, and treated him like a product rather than a person. On May 24, 
the group began its first headlining tour, Exo from Exoplanet 1, The Lost Planet, at the Olympic Gymnastics Arena. Tickets for the concert sold out in 1.47 seconds, breaking the record for the quickest concert sellout by a Korean artist. On October 10, Wee Hoon also filed a lawsuit against SM Entertainment to terminate his contract. He cited health problems and alleged he was treated differently than the band's South Korean members. 2015, Critical Acclaim On March 7, 2015, EXO began their second headlining world tour, Exoplanet 2, The Exile Auction, with 70,000 attendees across five nights at the Olympic Gymnastics Arena in Seoul. The group released its second studio album Exodus on March 30, 2015, in both Korean and Mandarin versions. Domestic pre-orders for the album surpassed 500,000 copies within 24 hours, setting a new record for pre-orders. Lead single Call Me Baby was released ahead of schedule, on March 27, because versions of the song had been leaked online. The music videos were released four days later. The Korean version later became the most watched K pop music video of the first half of 2015. The album spent a record four consecutive weeks at number one on the JN album chart and sold over a million copies, making it EXO's second album to do so, after SOXO. Exodus won Album of the Year at the 2015 Net Asian Music Awards, giving EXO their third consecutive win. In April 2015, Exodus peaked at number 95 on the U.S. Billboard 200, making the group the highest charting Korean artist. EXO also entered Billboard's Canadian Hot 100 chart at number 98, making them the first K pop group and second Korean artist to chart there. Tao was absent during promotions for Exodus due to injuries and, on August 24, became the third member to file a lawsuit against SM Entertainment to terminate his contract. This followed social media posts earlier in the year from Tao's father on Chinese social network Weibo, expressing his wish for his son to withdraw from the group and return to China due to health issues and a lack of support for individual career development. SM responded to his legal action with a statement, Our company plans to use everything in our power including both Korean and Chinese legal professionals and partners to respond legally both in Korea and China in a multifaceted manner. We also plan to take legal steps to respond to Tao's illegal promotions and actions. EXO released a repackaged version of Exodus, titled Love Me Right, on June 3, 2015. This edition added four new songs, including the single Love Me Right. Due to Tao's absence, the group promoted the song as nine members. That October, EXO became the first artists to hold a Dome concert in South Korea, it was called EXO. Love Concert in Dome, and took place at the Gashiok Sky Dome in Seoul. On November 4, 2015, EXO released their Japanese debut single Love Me Right Romantic Universe Tilda, which contains the Japanese version of Love Me Right and an original Japanese song titled Drop That. On the day of its release, the album sold 147,000 copies and reached the top of the Oricon chart becoming the all-time best-selling debut single in Japan by a Korean artist. Five days later, EXO released a special single titled Lightsaber to promote the movie Star Wars, The Force Awakens ahead of its release in South Korea, as part of a collaboration between SM Entertainment and Walt Disney. On December 10, EXO released its second winter special release and fourth EP, Sing For You, containing the singles Sing For You and Unfair. The album sold 267,900 copies in its first week, breaking the record for the highest first week sales by a Korean artist. Unfair also became the first K-pop song to be featured in the Best of the Week playlist by Apple Music, and EXO became the first Korean artists to appear on the platform's homepage. Part of the profits from the album were donated to UNICEF's Smile for You campaign, to support the music education for children in Asia. In December 2015, South Korean entertainment industry leaders ranked EXO at number 7 in the top 10 pop culture leaders of 2015, the highest rank held by a K-pop artist. 2016-2017, Worldwide Success
On January 5, 2016, SM Entertainment won one of its countersuits against Hao following the ruling of the Intermediate People's Court in Qingdao, China. The company sued Tao over his failure to repay the company after his departure, it released an official statement that said, SM has ongoing lawsuits against EXO members Wu Yifan, Chris, Wu Han, and Tao for violating their exclusive contracts and partaking in illegal promotions in China. Among these lawsuits, SM filed a lawsuit against Tao for failing to repay SM on October 13, 2015. An intermediate court in Qingdao, China made the verdict that Tao is to repay SM Entertainment as well as interest for the delayed payment. EXO's third studio album Exact and its singles, Lucky One and Monster, were released on June 9, 2016, in both Korean and Mandarin versions. Domestic pre-orders for the album exceeded 660,000 copies, making it the most pre-ordered K-pop album ever at that time. The album broke the record for the highest first-week sales of a Korean album, previously set by the band's own fourth EP Sing For You. Monster became EXO's first number one on the Billboard World Digital Songs chart, and Lucky One debuted at number three. On August 18, 2016, a repackaged edition of the album, titled Lotto, was released. It added four new songs, including the single of the same name. Lotto became EXO's second number one on the Billboard World Digital Songs chart, and peaked at number two on the JN Digital chart. The repackaged edition South Korean and Mandarin versions reached number one and two on the JN album chart, respectively within two months of its original release, EXECT had sold over 1.17 million copies, becoming EXO's third album to sell over 1 million copies, earning them the title of triple million sellers from the media. On July 21, contractual disputes between Kreese and Yuhan and SM Entertainment were settled. The two sides settled during their third court-mandated arbitration, the previous two were held in September 2015 and June 2016, when the court settled the case with a recommendation for reconciliation. The singers will maintain their contracts with SM until 2022. SM would contract out their work outside of Korea and Japan, that is, Kreese and Yuhan's Chinese agencies will share related revenues with SM for activities anywhere but Korea and Japan where SM has exclusive rights per their contract, because SM is technically contracting, a management for its non-Korean slash Japanese activities until 2022, when their contracts with SM expire. On July 22, EXO embarked on its third headlining tour, EXO Plane at 3, The Exordium, with a record six consecutive concerts at the Olympic Gymnastics Arena. On May 28, 2017, the tour ended with the second of two consecutive concerts at the Seoul Olympic Stadium, the largest stadium in South Korea, with an estimated maximum seating capacity of 100,000. Tickets for the first date went on sale on April 12 and were sold out within 20 minutes. The tour brought the band's total number of concerts to over 100. In June, Lay announced he would not take part in the band's next album, and would instead focus on his acting career. Since then, he has been absent from EXO albums and public appearances. On December 7, EXO released their second Japanese single, Coming Over. Selling over 158,000 copies, it reached number two on the weekly Oricon chart and became the band's second Japanese single to receive a platinum certification from the Recording Industry Association of Japan. EXO's third winter release and fifth EP for Life was released on December 19. The band did not publicly promote the album, which sold over 442,000 copies in less than two weeks. Also in 2016, the group's members spent time advancing their solo careers. On January 7, Ken released Dream, a collaboration with popular South Korean singer Suzy. The single proved very popular, and won Best Collaboration at the 18th Net Asian Music Awards among other awards. On October 31, Chen, Kyun, and Zayuman debuted as the group's first subunit, EXO-CBX, which is a combination of the first letter from each member's stage name. EXO-CBX released their debut EP Hey Mama. And the music video for the single of the same name on October 31. The EP was a success, 
selling over 293,897 copies. As of 2018, they have released two EPs in Korean and two EPs in Japanese. Lays debuted as a solo artist in May 2016 with the release of Monodrama through the Project SM Station. The song was a success in China, ranking number one on Billboard China V chart for four consecutive weeks. On October 28, Lay released his debut EPs, Lose Control. It was a commercial success, breaking several Guinness World Records and debuted at number one on South Korea's Jan album chart. In 2016 he also acted in The Mystic Nine, a television show in China that drew over 12 billion views online. All of the other members also pursued solo activities in various industries, including music, film, television, and theater. XOCBX debuted in Japan on May 24, 2017, with the release of an EP titled Girls, which followed the release of a short version of the music video for the lead single Kaching. In late April, the EP sold over 60,000 copies in Japan within a month of its release. EXO's fourth studio album The War was released on July 18, 2017. The album had received 807,235 pre-orders, surpassing the band's own record of 660,000 for exact. Lead single Coco Bop debuted at number one on the Melon Digital chart, making EXO the first gay pop group to enter at number one after chart changes were implemented on February 27, 2017. Upon release, the album recorded the highest first week sales of any K-pop album. It debuted at number 87 on the Billboard 200, number 1 on the Billboard World Albums chart, and on many other charts around the world, a first for EXO. On August 29, the 2018 edition of the Guinness World Records named EXO as having won the most grand prize awards at the Natasian Music Awards. On September 5, the group released a repackaged edition of The War, titled The War, The Power of Music. It added three new songs to the tracklist, including the single Power. On September 14, Power recorded the all-time highest score on M Countdown with 11,000 points, which made EXO the first hardest to achieve a perfect score after the show's calculation system changes were implemented in June 2015. The win also marked the group's 100th win on a music show. On October 19, EXO announced their third world tour, EXO Plane at number 4, the Ely Zion, which began with three consecutive nights at Seoul's Gashiok Sky Dome, beginning on November 24. As of November 30, Korean sales of the war had reportedly reached nearly 1.6 million copies, making it EXO's best selling album at the time and earning the group the title of quadruple million sellers from the media. In early December, EXO announced its fourth special winter release and sixth EP, Universe. It was originally due for release on December 21, but was delayed until December 26 because of the death of labelmate Jong Un. 2018 Present, International Recognition On January 16, 2018, Power became the first gay pop song to play at the Dubai Fountain at Burj Khalifa Lake, Dubai. Seven members of the group traveled to Dubai to view the first showing. The song's initial run was extended from January to March. It was also brought back from September until November of the same year. On January 31, EXO released its first Japanese studio album Countdown. The album debuted at number one on the weekly Oricon chart, selling approximately 89,000 copies. This achievement made EXO the first non-Japanese band whose debut single and debut studio album both reached number one on the weekly or icon chart. Ten days after its release, on February 9, Countdown was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of Japan. In early February, it was announced that EXO would perform at the closing ceremony of the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang on February 25 serving as representatives of K-pop along with CL. Prior to the announcement, Kim sang the national anthem at the opening ceremony of the International Olympic Committee General Assembly on February 5, and EXO performed at the official D100 concert in late 2017, which marked 100 days until the start of the Winter Olympics. The band's performance drew widespread global media attention and praise.
the Russian two-time Olympic silver medalist and figure skating world champion Evgenia Medvedeva also drew media attention for her support of EXO. In March 2018, the Korean Mint Corporation announced plans to create official commemorative medals for EXO, honoring the group for their contribution to the global spread of Korean culture. The nine medals, each commemorating one of the group's members, were unveiled on April 18, at a ceremony in Seoul. In October 2018, Lay debuted in the U.S. with his third solo album Nambanana. The album topped the charts of Billboard's world albums and independent albums, and placed 21st on Billboard 200, making Lay the highest-ranked Mando pop artist on the chart. EXO's sixth studio album, Don't Mess Up My Tempo, was announced in early October for release on November 2, 2018. It was also revealed that Don't Mess Up My Tempo would feature all nine EXO members, the group's first release to do so since Lotto in 2016. The album received 1,104,617 pre-orders, surpassing the group's own previous record. The album was a commercial success, selling 1,179,997 copies by November 30, making EXO quintuple million sellers in the media. With the release of Don't Mess Up My Tempo, EXO became the first artist to surpass 10 million total album sales in South Korea. The album debuted at number 23 on the Billboard 200 with 23,000 equivalent album sales and number 1 on the Independent Albums and World Albums Billboard charts. The album is EXO's highest charting album on the Billboard 200 and fourth number 1 album on the World Albums chart. Love Shot was released on December 13, as a repacked version of Don't Mess Up My Tempo. The lead single, also titled Love Shot, became EXO's third number one single on the Billboard World Digital Songs chart and held the position for three consecutive weeks. Don't Mess Up My Tempo sold 1,951,879 copes in South Korea in 2018 and is EXO's best-selling album. Chen became the second EXO member to debut as a soloist with his debut EP April, and a Flower, which was released on April 1, 2019. The album peaked at number 2 on the JN album chart and number 3 on the Billboard World Albums chart. Zayuman enlisted for his mandatory military service as an active duty soldier on May 7, 2019. Dio enlisted as an active duty soldier on July 1. Ken debuted as the group's third soloist with the release of his EP, City Lights, on July 10. City Lights sold over 500,000 copies in July 2019, breaking the JN chart record for the highest monthly album sales by a solo artist. The album also peaked at number 4 on both Billboard's World Albums and Heatseekers Albums charts. Chen Yao and Sun debuted as EXO's second official subunit, EXO FC and released their first TP, What a Life, in July 22, the duo released We Young for SM Station X0 in September 2018. What a Life debuted at number 8 at the World Albums chart, and at number 10 at the Heat Seekers chart. EXO is currently embarking on its fifth headlining tour, EXO Planet 5, The Exploration, with six dates in Seoul from July 19-28. Artistry Musicality. EXO are considered by many to be a vocal powerhouse in the K-pop industry. The group's three main vocalists Dio, Chen, and Ken have received praise from industry figures in the media. Beginning in 2013, EXO has released special winter-themed EPs in December nearly every year. These EPs feature many classic, emotional ballads, diverging from the dramatic and upbeat singles usually featured on the band's full-length albums. Billboard applauded the band's single universe from the 2017 EP of the same name, saying, with soaring, emotive vocals courtesy of the EXO members, Universe is a power ballad that showcases the group's strengths. The group has frequently worked with veteran Korean and international producers, including Kinsey, Dean, LDN Noise, The Underdogs, and Mars Music. Many of EXO's songs, especially the singles, which blend pop, hip-hop, and R&B with electronic dance music genres like house, trap, and synth pop are produced with on-stage performance in mind. Producer Harvey Mason Jr. commented, 
we listen to their material, and try and go one step further. We try and do things that are fresh and original but yet still sound like EXO, they can sing, they can dance, they have the energy, it's like a painter having every color to paint with. Early in their career, EXO were described by Billboard as sounding wholly inspired by the late 90s slash early OS sound, with bigger beats, loads more hooks and adding rap and dance breakdowns. The group explored a more mature and dark sound in 2016 with the release of their third studio album, Exact, featuring an increased use of electronic dance music styles like house and synth pop. Their fourth studio album, The War, deepened the group's experimentation with genre, including the addition of trap music. With the album's single Coco Bop, Exo received praise for unconventionally hybridizing laid-back reggae sounds with heavy electronic breaks. Songwriting EXO's members faced criticism early in their careers because of their lack of involvement in the writing and producing of their songs. However, in 2015 EXO released its first song to credit lyrics to one of the group's members, on the repackaged version of their second album, Love Me Right. Promise, EXO 2014, was written by Chen Yao, Chen, and Lei, and was a special gift to the fans with lyrics thanking them for their support. Since then, EXO has released multiple songs with lyrics by the band's members, including Heaven and She's Dreaming from their third album, the special promotional single Like Saber, and most notably, the hit single Coco Bop and several other songs from their 2017 album The War. In a 2017 interview with Billboard, Chen Yao spoke about his contributions to the lyrics for Chill stating that because he worked on the lyrics with an empty track without demo lyrics, the process came more nationally to him. In the same interview, Chen explained the process of writing their single Coco Bop, saying, We, wrote the lyrics separately and worked on putting, them, together for the song afterwards. I don't think I have any regrets, about the song, since it's the best result produced through all the effort that our members and other writers have put into the process. Chen is also credited with writing the Korean lyrics for the track Lights Out, from EXO's fourth special winter EP Universe. Lei is also a songwriter and producer, having written and composed each track of all his solo albums as well for other artists. Chen Yao participated in writing lyrics for Gravity and With You, both off of EXO's sixth studio album Don't Mess Up My Tempo. Stage EXO have been praised particularly for their synchronized choreography and elaborate stage designs. The band was choreographed early in their career by American hip-hop choreographers Tony Testa and Nicholas Bass for songs like Wolf and Growl, respectively. In recent years, EXO has collaborated with choreographer Kim Tae-woo. Dazed admired the band's seamless dot 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 knife point choreography, saying it has put EXO at the forefront of pop domination. A recurring stage element during the group's world tours has been the use of water in the form of rain and shallow pools. Cleo said EXO's winning formula is the incorporation of water into their choreography, saying there was water cascading from above during white noise and like saber, which saw some of the members getting drenched. Yahoo wrote that during one segment, the boys stood on an elevated hexagon-shaped stage, modeled after the band's logo and danced sensually while water rained down on them from above. On their stage design, Music Mind noted EXO's use of not only, the stage lights and the light sticks, but also, a, multitude of special effects like water, flames, and fireworks, not to mention huge screens positioned both on the substage and across the whole perimeter of the venue. Rapular journalist Kep Cuevas described EXO's multi-LED screen stage fitted with holographic EXO embellishments and choreographed laser lighting, saying the stage was literally on fire as pyrotechnic effects were ignited with the electronic beat. Covering a 2018 concert in Singapore, Bandwagon remarked that after their fourth headlining tour, in, four years, you might, assume, their setlist and stages would be repetitive and stale. But, that, was not the case at all. Impact and Influence With the release of their debut studio album in 2013, EXO became the first South Korean artists in 12 years to sell over 1 million copies of an album. The previous artist prior to reach this milestone was G.O.D. in 2001.
In 2018, EXO became quintuple million sellers, meaning the band has sold over 1 million copies apiece for five different albums. Following the release of their fifth studio album, Don't Mess Up My Tempo, EXO became the first South Korean artist who debuted in the 21st century to sell 10 million albums cumulatively. EXO have also contributed significantly to the financial success of their management agency, SM Entertainment. In the fourth quarter of 2018, SM Entertainment recorded the largest ever quarterly profit for any South Korean entertainment company at $13.4 million. The SM artist generating the highest revenue was EXO, at 31% of the total $188 million fourth quarter revenue. EXO have been described as the biggest boy band in the world. They have gained immense popularity in South Korea, and were named by Forbes on the Korea Power Celebrity list as the most powerful celebrities in South Korea for 2015 and 2016, within the top 5 for 2014, 2017, and 2018, and within the top 10 for 2019 they have been given a number of honorific nicknames such as Kings of K-Pop by international outlets Vogue, Metro. Page One and South Korean outlets including OBS among others. They were also named as the nation's pick and the global pick by South Korean media. EXO are widely esteemed as a prominent force in the hollow wave, which refers to the rise and spread of Korean pop culture around the world. When discussing the significance of EXO in a global context, Bustle magazine described them as the ultimate K-pop sensation, saying there's really nothing quite like EXO. The group has received further attention for releasing almost all of its studio albums simultaneously in both Korean and Mandarin. Vulture described EXO as leaders of a K-pop generation when describing the band's ability to release music in the Korean and Chinese markets while continuing to impress in the United States with billboard chartings and arena tours. In this regard, Dazed considered EXO's success to be that of a continent straddling pop juggernaut. In 2016, Asia One said EXO are turning into an omnipresent, unstoppable global force, citing their popularity in the United States, their critical acclaim, and the size of their global fandom. In April 2018, Forbes described EXO as one of the two artists worldwide that dramatically overperform on social media, with the other being fellow K-pop boy band BTS. Both groups exceeded the reach of American artists such as Beyonce, Justin Bieber, and Taylor Swift. Twitter statistics from Next Big Sound show that with 24 million mentions in one week, EXO recorded 14,000 times more than expected. EXO also ranked at number two on the 2018 Billboard Social 50 end of year ranking. EXO's work has influenced numerous artists, including Kim Dong Han, Wana Wan, and Kang Daniel. Other ventures endorsements. EXO has maintained numerous endorsement deals throughout the group's career, and has been named multiple times as having the most powerful brand reputation among gay pop artists by the Korean Business Research Institute. Since 2012, EXO has maintained a partnership with Samsung, the largest public company in South Korea, where the group has endorsed the company's electronic products. In early February 2013, EXO began promoting the South Korean clothing brand Kalin Sport, for which they filmed a commercial for a new pair of sneakers named for their collaboration, MoveZo. Also in 2013, EXO began a two-year endorsement deal with cosmetics brand Nature Republic, which was later extended and remains active to this day. Their partnership grew in 2015 and 2016 to include autograph events, which drew 30,000 and 50,000 fans respectively. The 2015 autograph event was held in Pusan, with crowds such that the Municipal Police Department tweeted, currently live from EXO's fan signing in Guangbuk-dong. 1, 2, 3. We are one. Pusan Police. Everyone, please be in order. These events were followed by the Green Nature EXO Fan Festival in 2017 and 2018. Both were concert-style events hosted by Nature Republic with thousands of attendees. In late 2015, EXO officially endorsed Star Wars, The Force Awakens with a release of a collaboration film that featured the nine EXO members in a Star Wars-inspired world where clubs are Jedi only and they carry lightsabers, 
according to Billboard. In 2016, the group became ambassadors for American footwear company Skechers, endorsing the Delight's Too Sweet Monster collection. This partnership has extended to Skechers events such as the 2017 Sweet Monster K-Pop Dance Competition, attended by EXO members Chan Yal and Sun. Also in 2016, the group became the official faces of international clothing brand Spouse Spring Collection, which included limited edition postcards and posters for customers. In 2018, in the lead-up to EXO's performance at the closing ceremony for the 2018 Winter Olympics, the group became the faces of the Switzerland-based snow sports company Kessler. In March 2018, EXO were announced to be the new brand ambassadors for Major League Baseball, MLB, in Asia. Following this announcement, Chen Yao, K, and Sun attended the grand opening of the MLB store in Times Square, Hong Kong, on March 23. In July 2018, EXO were appointed as Korean Tourism Ambassadors for 2018 by the Korean Tourism Organization, and appeared in a series of promotional advertisements designed to promote Korea to the world. EXO also maintained partnerships with, or have previously endorsed, companies including Coca-Cola, SK Telecom, KFC, MCM, Lot Confectionery, Lot World, Gubin Chicken, and Hats On. Philanthropy. The members of XOK became goodwill ambassadors for South Korea's Red Cross Youth in December 2012. Members of EXO were appointed as official ambassadors for Fashion Code 2014, which was hosted by South Korea's Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism and the Korea Active Content Agency Fashion Festival in July 2014. That same month, Samsung announced EXO as its brand ambassadors for the 2014 Summer Youth Olympics. Since its debut, EXO members have been involved in charity, such as volunteering for and making personal donations to organizations including child care centers, the Korea Childhood Leukemia Foundation, Sai Hung Women's Resources Development Center, and China's Hunan Province Medical Services. In 2015, EXO began participating in Smile for You, a joint SM Entertainment and UNICEF project that supports music education for children in Asia. Part of the proceeds from the band's second special winter release Sing for You and multiple subsequent albums were donated to the campaign. Awards and Nominations EXO have won numerous awards in South Korea and internationally. On June 14, 2013, the band earned their first ever music show win with the single Wolf on Korea's Music Bank. Music programs are weekly television shows in South Korea and China that award the artist with the most popular song in the country based on digital chart performance, album sales and social media popularity. EXO hold the record for the most music show wins for a single song, with 18 wins for Call Me Baby, released in 2015. EXO have gone on to win over 100 music program awards becoming the second act to do so after their label mates Girls Generation. EXO have also received 23 awards from various year-end award shows. In South Korea's music industry, a ZN award is the grand prize of an award ceremony. These wins included six ZN awards from the Natasian Music Awards, which was recorded in the 2018 Guinness World Records book as the most ZN grand prize awards won at the Natasian Music Awards. On November 3, 2017, EXO received a Prime Minister Commendation at the Korean Popular Culture and Arts Awards, an honor bestowed in recognition of public service and or excellence in a given field. When receiving the award, Soho said, We have received such a big award alongside brilliant people, it's such a huge honor. We will become performers who promote not only K-pop, but also Korea. Discography Korean and Mandarin Albums Zexo, 2013 Exodus, 2015 Exact, 2016 The War, 2017 Don't Mess Up My Tempo, 2018